We finally lived in a cheap old house with hardly any insulation. In the early 80s, I started school in the Orange Park Junior High. And back then, it was 6th through 8th grade. And being in EH, that's where all the bad children was. And this guy that attended school said, If I push you off, what are you going to do about it? I said, If you're going to push me off, you're coming down with me. And as soon as he went to push me off, I grabbed his arms and he went down with me like I said. But I had it worse since I cushioned his fall when he landed mostly on my head. And when the other students came, he told everybody else what happened. And included, Don't don't mess with him because he keeps his word. Sometime later, I had this teacher that was in a bad mood, and I said, she's being a witch. She wrote a referral, and she told me to go to the front office. I seen what she wrote, and I said, I didn't call you the B word. She said, yes, she did, and she turned her back away from me and said, go to the front office. Back then, when you was a senior, you didn't use bad language unless you got angry. So I wrinkled it to a ball and threw it at her back. Then she unwrinkled it and wrote me two more referrals on top of that. The first one saying I cursed her. The second one said I tried to destroy in the third one by saying I punch her in the back with my fist and that was enough to get me kicked out of school and I went to J.L. Wilkinson and the first day I went there I got mad because Taylor Johnson this tall black guy got finished beating up this small white skinny guy even though the black guy did get in trouble for it now this other teacher that I had was being mean to the students from morning to almost lunchtime at that time this guy named Ike asked me how's the teacher being like and I said she's been a witch then the teacher said I'm writing you a referral and Ike you take them down there and I said for what like the other teacher did she misheard me and I told her that and then when she asked Ike I thought he was gonna be on my side but he was and he said oh you heard right then she wrote me a referral and said okay you two go and I said I'm not going nowhere then she called the front office and told the principal I got a troublemaker here and he won't go to you he said I'll be right down there I'll know how to take care of guys like him a little while later he came in and he says you're coming with me I said no I'm not going nowhere with you he said we either go gonna do it the easy way or the hard way so I grabbed my desk he grabbed me and he yanked me and I fell down with the desk and everybody pointed to laugh at me then I got up he grabbed my arm and forced me out of the classroom as soon as I went out the door I had a bad attitude and I said man just get your hands off me man just get your hands off me he said no unless you know how to walk on your own and I said yeah and as soon as we walked to the office the bell rung a lot of students came for lunch he went to the left side of the students and I ducked down to the right side turned around and looked at him and he couldn't even see me and I ran off as soon as the bell rung and when people were at lunch I went to hide in bathrooms and when the bell rung I hid through the people during lunch change and thought I'm gonna keep this up until I go home and I'm never coming back to school the bell rung I hid in a different bathroom and I kept the doors cracked open so nobody knows I'm hiding in one of the stalls and that's when I heard somebody come in I looked underneath and I noticed it was the principal and he pulled up his pants legs looked down and seen that was nobody there and then he left the bell rung I snuck out again and I heard an announcement saying over the intercom we're looking for a guy wearing blue jeans and a blue shirt and light brown hair after doing that a few times and playing this hide and seek game and lunches was over I thought I could stall time by being out in the PE field and one of the PE coaches said hey you're the person that they're all looking for so I ran away and hid in the bathroom again and finally the bell rung and I hid back in the crowd again and that's when I noticed they had a policeman looking for me so that's when I walked off calmly this way I won't look suspicious after getting tired of the same routine I sat down on this railing and then this teacher came out asking me what are you doing out here so as an unsafe typical sinner I lied I said I got in trouble with my teacher and she put me out here for punishment she told me that was a speech teacher's room then I said that's the teacher I'm talking about she said the speech teacher don't come this period she comes next period which is the last one but I know who you are you're the guy everybody's looking for and since I was caught I told the truth and said yes I am and then she told me to stay there and don't go anywhere and I was thinking yeah right right as I was shaking my head yes and she said I mean it now you stay right where you're at and when I was shaking my head yes I was thinking yeah like I'm really gonna do what you say and as soon as she went in the building I knew she would look out and that's the real reason why I stayed there before she comes out after me and as soon as she got done looking I knew she was gonna call the front office and then I ran away again and hid back in the last stall with my feet on the toilet seat and that's when the principal came back in but he was so mad he didn't bother looking under this time and that's when I heard it each stall he was going wha-bam 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 kicking each one open until he got to mine at this point my leg was cramping up and almost plunged into the toilet and that's when I heard this janitor come in and he said hey they found your guy he was last seen in H-wing and while they was walking out I heard him say this child been a pest to me and then I thought I couldn't hardly wait to sneak on the bus and go home and quit school at this point the bell rung and I thought I'm almost there at that point the students knew who I was 
person what I was doing. And one of the guy teachers seen me. I think this is the person you're all looking for. He's right there. And then I ran off where he couldn't see me. And that's when the other students was helping me. They was all pointing in one direction where I went. But I thought they was pointing where I should be going to, not where they was coming from. And the principal with two other grown-ups was there. After they seen me, I zigzagged through the buildings until I lost them. And this time I ran across some same students. And this time they was pointing where I should be running to, but I thought they was pointing where they was coming from. So I ran the opposite way. And when I seen them in front of me, I zigzagged through the buildings yet again. A bunch of grown-up workers were right behind me. And I seen a lot of them right in front of me. And also to the right, and I went to the left. At this point, this dean was running past the buildings, and he caught me in the corner of his eye, and he turned around, and he almost fell down because he's heavy set. And when he was coming after me, I dutched to my right, and he followed me. And when I quickly went to the left, he went to my left. And when he caught up to me, I quickly dutched to my right like I was playing football. And when I went to pass him, he grabbed me, and he only got my shirt. And then he grabbed me, and I went, Aah! And that's when I felt him shake, and he got startled and let go. By that time, when I was running through the buildings, they caught up to me and tackled me and grabbed me while I was saying, Man, just get your hands off me, man. Just get your hands off me. And the principal said, Not this time. So they put me in a room with one of my class students. This police officer said, I don't have time to babysit you two, and he left. And when he did, I asked this other student, What are you in here for? He said, I'm called the copycat, and when you ran off, I did too. And then I asked him, How long did it take before you got caught? He said, I got caught as soon as I got out of the classroom. And the principal came in with my referral saying he's going to give me a whole lot of swats. And I said, for what? I didn't do nothing! Pow! I hit the brick wall and hurt my hand. And because of that, he got me arrested and said I was threatening his life. But later on, the school dropped the charges. And I never received my swats.